This is the solution to written homework 50. <clears throat> so, as mentioned on the mailing list, um, this can be uh, the simplifying assumption that x is positive can be used to make this exercise a little easier. So this is a first order linear differential equation, so we'll, we'll use an integrating factor. <clears throat> in order to use an integrating factor, we need to put the differential equation in standard form. So dividing it all by x, dy dx plus negative 3 over x y is equal to negative 2 over x. So that's moving the 2 over and dividing by x. So this <coughs> here is p in our first order linear integrating factor terminology. So the integrating factor is i of x is the exponential of the antiderivative of p of x dx. So this is exponential of antiderivative of uh, negative 3 over x dx. So exponential of negative 3 log absolute value of x but we can drop the absolute value because we have the simplifying assumption that x is positive. So this is exponential uh, negative 3 log x. And then the negative 3 can be brought inside. So this is exponential of log of 1 over x cubed. Because x to negative 3 is 1 over x cubed. So this is 1 over x cubed. So that's the integrating factor. <clears throat> we can take this integrating factor and multiply that equation <clears throat> we get 1 over x cubed dy dx uh, minus 3 over x to 4 y is negative 2 over x to 4. <coughs> okay. Then the left hand side is the derivative of this product 1 over x cubed y and then the right-hand side is just copied. <clears throat> so then we can split the differential as split in two differentials as uh, negative 2 x to negative 4 dx. Okay, so then the whole point of the integrating factor was to get to this position. Now we can anti-differentiate <clears throat> so antiderivative differential 1 over x cubed y is antiderivative negative 2 x to negative 4 dx. So 1 over x cubed y is, <clears throat> that would be uh, negative 2 divided by negative 3 x to negative 3, because we're using the power rule, negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3, okay, then plus c. Now, simplifying a little bit, uh, the negatives cancel. We'll multiply both sides by x cubed, so this would be y is 2 thirds uh, x to negative 3, x to 3, plus c, x to 3. 
And the x to negative 3 multiplied by x to 3, those cancel. So the general solution is y is 2 thirds uh, plus cx cubed. Now to figure out c, we can use the <coughs> initial data. When we plug in x, y is 1, 8, that should be a solution. So, so 8 is 2 thirds plus uh, c times 1 cubed. So 8 thirds minus 2 thirds, sorry, 8 minus 2 thirds, well this is 24 thirds uh, minus 2 thirds, so that's 22 thirds. is C, and therefore the answer to the exercise is Y is 2 thirds plus 22 thirds X cubed.